Hi there, and welcome to Apple World. Diddy, a titan of the business, faces serious claims that have left quite a large number of VIPs hush. However, in the midst of the quiet, a brave influx of rappers is moving forward and has previously utilized their voices to challenge the state of affairs. Go along with us as we investigate why these craftsmen are ending the quietness and how it affects the future of music and responsibility in Hollywood. Is the tide at long last turning? Diddy, moreover, known as Shea Brushes or Puff Daddy, has been a titan in the music business since the mid-9s, inseparable from hip jumps, ascending to standard prevalence anyway. His process has not been without debate throughout the years. Various craftsmen have dissected him frequently, reflecting more profound issues of double dealing. Monetary debates and imaginative control one. The locks will constantly adore Huge Daddy 1997. The looks involve just Styles P. What's more, Sheik Louch endorsed with awful kid records during the name's prime in the late 90s. At first, their relationship with Diddy seemed productive. The gathering added to a few exemplary tracks. Furthermore, earned respect through joint efforts, including the notorious Will continuously love Large Daddy a recognition for the famous Large Anyway underneath the surface strap. In Stude, the ELO soon became vocal about their dissatisfactions with Diddy and Terrible Awful Kid. They felt that the name focused on business accomplishment over creative respectability in interviews, and in suing Occupies they communicated their discontent guaranteeing Diddy was more centered. Around his picture and monetary profit than on supporting his specialists, the gathering felt they were being taken advantage of with their inventiveness smothered under the strain to adjust to Diddy's vision. N. For the name, their inevitable takeoff from the terrible kid was set apart by unpleasant feelings, epitomizing the battle numerous craftsmen face in the quest for independence and regard in an industry overwhelmed by strong leaders. Two Suji Knight discourses at the 1,995 source grants. Sue Knight's notorious comments during the 1,995 source grants stand apart as a huge second in hip bounce history. His discourse conveyed as he acknowledged an honor for the benefit of Deathline Records incorporated an immediate hit at Diddy, who was then at the level of his impact with awful kid records. Knight expressed on the off chance that you will be in the business you ought to get in the business, recommending that craftsmen ought to be careful of mark leaders who center more around their own popularity than on sustaining ability. This comment was generally deciphered as an investigation of Diddy's gaudy way of life and his way of carrying on with work. Knight's remarks energized the East Coast-West Coast contention, defining boundaries between the two camps and featuring the differentiating ways to deal with craftsmen, the executives. His assertion enlightened the pressures inside the business, suggesting that faithfulness and uprightness were progressively under danger, as hip-hop moved into the standard 350 cent hip-hop 2009 50 cent has been one of Diddy's most vocal pundits and his hostility towards him, has worked out through different diss tracks and public remarks in hip bounce. 50 Cent makes an immediate effort at Diddy rapping Puff Pass. I'm in the grass. Knock and puff, puff this line embodies the opposition that started in the mid-2000s, when 50 Cent blamed Diddy for being a phony criminal who focused on business requests over credibility. 50's evaluate was not simply private. It resounded with a more extensive social discussion about road validity versus standard achievement. He has reliably ridiculed Diddy's persona, Scrutinizing his commitments to hip-hop and featuring what he sees as fraud in Diddy's showy public picture, this pressure between Diddy's business achievement success and 50 pennies more, the road-arranged approach addresses a huge separation inside hip. Jump culture, mirroring the intricacies of exploring acclaim and realness, and we should not fail to remember his past comments addressing Diddy's sexuality. What's more, his oddity off parties, which every free body has been discussing since his capture. For J. Cole Center Youngster 2019, J. Cole Center Youngster highlights lines that numerous audience members deciphered as hidden shots at Diddy and other industry tycoons. In this track, Cole ponders his situation in Hip Jump, examining the tensions of achievement and the requirement for credibility. He makes reference to an episode at a party where he felt a sense of urgency to take care of Diddy, flagging an acknowledgement of the power elements at play. Inside the Business, Mace Virtual Entertainment presents 2020 on 2023. As of late, Mace has utilized online entertainment as a stage to proceed scrutinizing, especially with respect to issues of music privileges and monetary pay. In 2020, he posted a progression of proclamations blaming Diddy for keeping his distribution privileges and requesting extravagant installments for their return. 
Mama's virtual entertainment eruptions feature the continuous battle specialists face concerning their work and the frequently hazy acts of major marks his activities reverberate with quite a large number of craftsmen who feel caught by contracts that focus on the name's benefit over their imaginative commitments. This public showdown has caused many to notice the requirement for change in how the music business treats craftsmen, especially as many are starting to request more straightforwardness and decency in their dealings with strong leaders. Eminem long history of Pokes Eminem is a craftsman who has never minimized his affections for Diddy. He has been the objective of a few horrible expressive poems from M consistently. Fans are re-evaluating these second minutes with new viewpoints in light of ongoing improvements. M and M's 1996 tune Insane contains his originally known hit at Diddy. In it, he rapped unique, terrible kid working on this issue. Cover Your Face came in the place blown and splashed puffy, with Mesa denoted the start of a progression of deceptions to the president. Of terrible kid records that would keep going for a really long time in the year 2000. Eminem didn't keep down in martial matters, spitting you groupie. Get off me. Go puffy by this point. Eminem was a notable hip-bounce craftsman, however, still a relative upstart in the media outlet. One of his remarkable offering directs was his ability toward challenging industry. Titans like Diddy Eminem made one more poke on I'm Back that same year, because in the event that I at any point took advantage of any artist in showbiz, it'd be Jennifer Lopez. Furthermore, Puffy, you know this, I'm sorry. Puff be that as it may, I don't give a which began as perky. Punches then, at that point, went bad as the tone later moved to something else serious during the 2018 diss track Killshot, which was aimed at Machine Weapon Kelly. Eminem made quite possibly one of his most petulant comments in regards to Diddy Mem rapping a line that shook the hip jump scene. Kel's the day you put out a hit is the day Diddy concedes that he put the hit out that destroyed Pac. Many were left contemplating whether the crucial was valid despite the fact that Eminem quickly answered, I'm simply playing Diddy. You realize I love you anyway in considering the developing charges against T. Diddy? Eminem's most late melody, the passing of thin, obscure cue de grass, feels uncannily appropriate today in the melody fuel Eminem rapped infamous Huge's demise was the cascading type of influence of two packs, like facial tissue, whose clock would it be advisable for me? I clean next puffs till he's in police, binds blameworthy will he move forward normally. The accompanying lines from the same melody surprised great many individuals. A-R-A-P-E-R -E got such countless SAS stands by. He didn't simply explain rapper and leave a P. Did he give an explanation that currently appears preent considering Diddy's continuous legitimate inconveniences connected with charges of sex dealing and racketeering? 7. Drake Summer, 16, 2016 Despite the fact that Drake doesn't unequivocally name Diddy in Summer 16, the topics of the tune convey a feeling of strength and contest among industry pioneers. Doctor alludes to outperforming laid-out figures, which many fans deciphered as unpretentious taken shots at Diddy and different magnates. This track mirrors a generational change in hip bounce, where more youthful craftsmen like Drake are rethinking achievement and testing the power of the people who preceded them. The cutthroat idea of hip-jump culture implies that regard is frequently acquired through ability and credibility as opposed to heritage and past achievements. Drake's melodious certainty shows the development of the class as new specialists endeavor to cut out their own characters while catching with the traditions of the people who paved the way. 8 Just and the Locks Hot 97 meeting 2005 in a noteworthy HOT 97 interview, Jadis and Styles P transparently talked about their complaints with respect to their contracts with Terrible Kid Records. This second became significant in hip-bounce discussions about craftsman privileges. They enunciated sensations of disloyalty. It was misdirected to propose their monetary plans and inventive control. Jodas broadly expressed, you can't trust an individual who can't be straightforward with you, which numerous deciphered as a direct reference to Diddy. He pointed out, point by point, how they felt controlled by Diddy's business strategies, guaranteeing they were guaranteed things that never emerged. The interview hit home for some audience members, particularly those acquainted with the difficulties of exploring the music business, and highlighted the frequently stronger connection among specialists and their marks. 9. Freddie P. of D-Band Instagram Bluster 2022 Freddie is an individual from Dabadand, a gathering shaped by Diddy on the unscripted TV drama making the band took to virtual entertainment in 2022 to air his complaints about Diddy. 
His profound Instagram bluster uncovered sensations of disloyalty and abuse, blaming Diddy for neglecting to help him and his bandmates. Freddie P depicted the mental cost that being essential for the show and Diddy's administration took on him, featuring the more obscure side of unscripted television and the music business. His realism reverberated with fans and individual craftsmen, causing them to notice the profound battles many face in the quest for outcome in the amusement. World 10 Kanye West Power 2010 Subscribe Apple Word for more videos.